with my first launcher that I'm going to be talking about, which is Google Now Launcher. My main reason for installing this, so the main draw was the one swipe or one tap easy access to Google Now Launcher, as if we didn't have enough instant access to Google search engines and the internet already. But also other than that, I really loved its simple, clean layout. It does support widgets and wallpapers and all the other things that you need in a standard launcher. I would say it's for people who just want something really simple but unfortunately, not many icon packs are supporting Google Now Launcher at the moment, so that's why I don't have anything too different going on. Next up, we have Solo Launcher, and the main reason for installing this was just so I could get the custom font. I hadn't really um, had an interest in this before, I literally looked into it, but it's mostly so I could use a custom font. And the icon pack that you are looking at right now is called Glim. I'm using the light version, but there is a light and a paid version available in the App Store that I will link to in the description. But yeah, I really like the overall design of Solo Launcher. It's not anything too crazy or out there from what I've already seen but I liked the way I put it together with the icon pack and my font here. There's the Bauhaus font I was talking about. Unfortunately, it's only supported in Solo Launcher, so, and I couldn't apply it on my phone because my phone is not rooted. So that was my main reason for installing Solo Launcher, but I would still really recommend it anyway. So next we have AV8, which is pretty much my favorite, one of my favorite launchers at least that I've used. I've been using this for a while, over a year now actually, and I just really like the customization that you can put into it. Um, you can choose whether or not you want news of your home page, there's a regular home screen available like you're looking at now. What I really like also is these folders that they automatically, without you touching it, sort your apps into based on the different categories like studying, photography, music, entertainment, things like that. And you can also add your own app collections, like here I believe I'm going to add outdoors to my home screen. And if you don't have any apps that relate to, in this case, outdoors, they will suggest plenty for you so you will never run out of things to download. And then here is an example of one of the folders they put together with a ton of apps that I already had on my phone. You can add and remove as you please pretty much. And then there's the social folder with pretty much every social media related app or social app that I have already installed. The icon pack that you see installed onto my AV8 is Squirkle. So yeah. I'm going to leave links to pretty much everything you see in this video in the description so don't worry about that. And then here's just a closer look at the Squircle icon pack and the overall layout of your apps in Aviate. Aviate is free. I really recommend it. Check it out. Finally, I would like to showcase this wonderful keyboard called Ginger, and it does oh, so many things beyond just being a custom keyboard. As you can see, you can launch your calendar from it and create events. There's a translator built into it and a dictionary. Um, you can create notes right from your keyboard using apps already built into your phone. You are allowed to search right from your keyboard. So if you think something you want to search and you don't have your browser open at the time, you can just use it to search anything you want right from your keyboard with a built-in search bar. Of course, there's no browser built into the keyboard, so you will have to go to a different search app. But there is the translator I was talking to you about. And of course, you have your standard emojis ported over from iOS. Uh, the latest iOS emojis from the 8.3 update aren't here yet as far as I know. They do have a lot of stuff already. Uh, you just saw the stickers and then GIFs, which I think is genius. These actually come from an app called Jiffy. I can't remember how to spell that, but it's called Jiffy. And like I said, that's just a genius idea to have GIFs because sometimes emojis and emoticons and text just don't explain the whole story. So you need GIFs because, I don't know, you just need them. And here's one that I've only used one so far, so I used that and I put it on Tumblr. And then there is a last category of things to um, use in your text and things. These are just like groups of emojis that convey a certain message, like there's Christmas and love and all these things. Honestly, I'd be pretty annoyed if someone sent me like 10 lines of emojis that created a picture. I think I would find that pretty annoying and you have to like remove them one by one, so... That's a little weird, but other than that, I really like this keyboard and you can add your own custom themes to it as well. There are two last things that I want to mention, but not fully go over because I've actually already made videos about them. Those are my lock screen and where I get a good amount of my best wallpapers from. Those are the apps Highlocker and Wally. 
I will have links to both those videos. You can kind of see what they look like here. But I also wanted to mention those because they are also part of my customized Android setup.